Traveling, I'm doing a little time traveling. I'm back, and I'm telling y'all right now before I even sample this, because you know, I heard you know, I'm time traveling. This coconut and bro, coconut water and bros is good. I'm just telling y'all before I do it during the toast, right? And also, I did not know how important the lymphatic system was until I started exploring it with y'all. So I want to thank you. And I want to toast you for joining the journey. Yo, so stay tuned. The show will be starting. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. All right, we're going to start our daily toast. Of course, we got to do the water. Got to hydrate first. But man, once again, I got I to gotta show this off, man. I told y'all that I was going to be doing that ginseng ambrosia, and I am not. Playing. That's that live ginseng root floating up in here. It costs a few bucks, but hey, I, I'm gonna keep my word. I'm gonna get it. So for those, for those who know about the power of the ginseng root, and if you can see, unfortunately, Jami girls got my 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 good my good um, tablet with the um, camera. You can't see the bubbles. About, you know, on on my over here for YouTube. Y'all might be able to see those bubbles, but this one is brewing and this gonna be powerful. I'm just telling you. Now this one right here, this one is a new coconut water one. I'm just I'm just telling y'all. So we gonna, we gonna drink on that coconut water one this morning. But right now we're gonna hydrate. So everybody that's with me, that's, that's with me, that's doing this in Goose in Goose Challenge, go ahead and drink your water. I'm going for 32 ounces this morning, starting off with 32 ounces. Alright, we already spoke about how to know how much water you need to drink a day. But hey, mm. 16 down. Actually, that's 16.9, so I'm almost at. 17 ounces. And I'm beyond 17 ounces now. Come on. Drink it up. I'm sorry. I didn't read the rest of your message, Ms. Sheila. I'm doing good. How about yourself? Oh, that's 32 oil. That's uh, 64. Uh, what? Miss Keisha Lane, I didn't know you knew what 4 o'clock in the morning looked like. You must just be getting in from the club, girl. 
How you doing? All right. Mm. Now we hydrated. Let's get our toast on, family. We gotta call those ancestors. Those of you that's out there that might have some ancestors that you want called out while, while we're doing this. You know what I'm saying? Write their name on the screen. Because I'm telling y'all right now, once you start calling on your ancestors, your whole life is going to change. Now, I'm going to move this ginseng up out the way. And I'm going to bring this coconut water ambrosia up. Oh, you don't go out. Oh, my baby done grew up. She said she don't go out no more. Neither do I. I should kind of get old after a while, don't it? Alright. I just want y'all to look at this. Ooh, and it's talking to me. So now, I'm experimenting with coconut water. Right? So it's coconut water, ambrosia. Nice color. Nice smell. But I had it sitting, so we're going to sample it and see how it's doing after we do the dedication. Ooh, man. All right. So first, give an honor to the creator by whatever name you choose. Call it creator. We toast the creator. We call that energy into our life, even though we know it's already here. But we're reminding ourselves every morning when we do our toast that this energy is present and is available for us. So we toast and we say Ashe. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We call on our grandmothers and our grandfathers, our aunts and our uncles, our friends and our cousins that have contributed to our lives, that have added something to our lives, that gave us good advice. Because all of us have people in our lives that passed on some words of wisdom. We want to thank them for the words of wisdom by remembering them because hell for Africans is being forgotten and we will never forget our ancestors. We want to even go back deep into our family lines, to the names that we don't know, to those who survived the uh, Mayafa. We want to, well, even though we're still in the Mayafa, the more direct Mayafa, we want to remember those ancestors. We want to let them know that they have a place within our hearts and within our lives. You know what I'm saying? We want them to be active and to make things happen for us, right? So we call on those ancestors. So I'm going down my personal family line. Anybody that want to um, ha have me shout out theirs, please post it up on the Facebook live stream or on the YouTube down below, down below. All right? So here we go. Uh, Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert the Texan, and Davis from Brown, Senior, Rosalie, Tilly, Georgia, William, Walter, Crystal, Fanny, Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Cleveland Brown, Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Mama Malika, uh, Jamon Jones, John Fillard, uh, Pastor Yusef Weston, mm, Elder Donaldson, Elder Harrison, um, Oh, Dr. Marianne Williams. Man, listen, I can tell you stories about her. No more X, thank you. Elder No More X, shouts out to Keisha for bringing that up. Um, oh, man. And it's good to review, man. It's good to review your elders. And we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. But yo, so we call him Jamon Jones. Man, oh man, shouts out. Um, Brother Fanos. Also known as Montague Pittman M. We toast him as well. Jeremiah Tappan. You know what I'm saying? We 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 toast we toast him. And we toast all those that um didn't come to our mouth but they rest in our hearts. Those ones that, you know, we didn't we didn't remember at this moment. But it's okay because we toast every day. So we salute them and we say I say. From there, move on to our children. No. No, we move on to this moment. We toast this moment. Today is a moja. We toast the moja. And um, we're looking for that unity today, y'all. We're looking for all those principles that are uh, um, that are on a day. And I'll, I'll, I'll give that list to you right now. We got, we own unity is a moja. Unity, um, uh, mentalism, the hermetic law of mentalism, um, the her meiotic law of truth, 
Um, the day name is Quojo, and the female name is, excuse me, I gotta go into my bag. I think it's Ottawa. Uh, yep, Ottawa. All right, so we got all those principles to salute today. So we're going to focus on that energy today. We're going to make it happen. Shouts out to Brother Kwame. Brother Kwame, man, I got that I got that live ginseng one, man. I'm experimenting with it for you right now. Now, last but not least, we're going to toast our children, our children's children onto infinity. It's important that we understand that everything we do, everything we think, say, and do affects seven generations from now. So we need to be a little bit more careful about what we think. We need to be a little bit more careful about what we do. But we need to be bold with our actions because right now is the time for boldness, family. If we don't start building, we are going to let, we, we might as well just, we might as well just stop having kids. We might as well just stop having kids. Because if you look at the economic system, you look at the way things are going right now, family. If we don't start taking massive actions right now, we are condemning our, our children to a possible slavery. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because it's getting, it's, 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 it's getting good, but if you look at the financial situations, it's getting horrible. Te technologically wise, the world is growing. Economically, it's getting out. Uh, family listen you need to pay attention to some of the stuff that's going on out there so we're going to toast our children our children's children on onto the infinity we remember them now so they can remember us later but remember they won't remember us if we're not taking bold actions we sitting around here acting like some punks and letting the rest of the world roll over us then we don't deserve to be poor for you understand what i'm saying it's getting serious. Everybody else is circling their wagons and we sitting around partying and shit, smoking weed and, and doing all types of stuff, right? So, hey, I'm toasting for my kids because I'm working hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm building and I need other people to build with. That could be you. That could be somebody else. But when the shit hit the fan, don't come knocking on my door. Phonetically, today is Ajua or a ya na aju that's the female, Adjua, because I got to spell A-A-D-W-O-A. -A -A. All right, so, shouts out. You ready? You ready? Last but not least, we're toasting our challenges. We're toasting, this is a special libation that go out or a special toast to that goes out to anyone that has anything they want their ancestors to roll out for. So if you got it, you want to ask for it, now's the time, family. Right? Because real I mean, because this is one of the issues that I have when we pour libations, right? A lot of us don't take it serious. Right now we're asking for our creator to be present. Right now we're asking for our personal ancestors to be present. Right now we're asking for our future generations to be present. Right now we're asking for total consciousness in the present. Accident shall be given. Now our ancestors are here, the creator is here, all that energy is here right now. Now's the time to ask for what you need in your life. Right now. We toast and we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. I wish y'all peace, power, joy, in 100 years, now let's sample this coconut water ambrosia. Oh, wait! I gotta do my, I gotta do my dance. Oh, oh, oh shit! Hey, family, I got one. I got a winner here. I will be having on my next brewing. I will be having because summertime is coming too. I will be having <laughs> coconut water ambrosia. 
I'm going to come up with a fancy name for it. Man. God damn it. Listen. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So, those on Facebook, I'm about to get off of here. Today, we're going to be talking about the lymphatic system. Just did a little research, but I think that we need to have a discussion about the lymphatic system and how important it is, how to keep, you know what I'm saying, what it does and how we can assist it in doing it. Uh, you always picky, Keisha. God damn. You, now... Just because you said that, you can't get no ambrosia but the coconut water ambrosia. You always doing that, right? You agree? No, my fault. I know you, girl. Here, you can have. You can have some of that ginseng ambrosia, cause you a Scorpio. So you can have some of that ginseng ambrosia. I just for my baby. All right. So yo, Facebook, I'm about to get off of here. Now, for those that want to keep up with me, subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel. Yo, yo it, don't just like this. Share. I need y'all to share. Share it. Share it. All right? But, yo, I'm out, Facebook. Share it. Y'all have a great morning, great day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Ooh, my girls be breaking everything. Damn. <clears throat> oh, yeah, remember to take them goose to solve a challenge. I'm type it up here. Make sure y'all share. Woo, my girls. I can't even turn the damn thing off. All right, I'm going to type on the, um. All right, thank you for the share. Brother Kwame. And your um, ginseng is just about ready. But, you know, you know, here at Giamme, we won't give away. We won't, we won't. We won't do that ambrosia before it's time. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the share. Um, and who's the Shabba challenge? Where we at? Sign up for the challenge. Some of y'all sign up for that challenge. You ain't got to do it right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, because it takes time to get all of the information and all the stuff together for the challenge. So, I'm putting a link up there for you. There we go. I think that's it. What did my kids do to my... Woo! Family. Y'all know I love kids. Y'all know that. But my daughters do some stuff I just don't understand. I don't even know how to turn the... They done messed up the screen. Alright, <clears throat> alright YouTube, so we are going to talk about the lymphatic system a little bit, alright, just a little bit, alright, so I'll be right back, alright, <clears throat> so I'm back fam, so now it's important mm -hmm. that we really focus on taking care of ourselves, right, so like I said, Every now and then, you know, after I do some of my ranting days and stuff like that, I want to share some information with you that uh, I'm stumbling upon, right? Because, like, uh, every day I have an opportunity uh, because the kids be asking questions at school or something pops up or I get an email or somebody makes a comment to me. Um, with modern technology, we had the ability to look up almost anything. So, a question came across that sparked me to look into the lymphatic system. So, I wanted to look into the lymphatic system with you. And I want to challenge you to share some information with me about the lymphatic system as well. Because once I start looking at this thing, I start looking at how important it was. Now, of course, y'all know just so that I could ease your mind. I got my coconut oil. I got a bigger one in there, I just got a new one. I'm gonna take my coconut oil this morning. 
Um, I'm still working through this bottle of palm oil. I'll be doing a report on that. I'm almost done with the uh, black seed oil. I'm going to have a report on that um, as well. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we already talked about the coconut oil and the importance of that. Now we've got the coconut water uh, ambrosia. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, and, oh, we still got, we're going to talk about the coconut water as well. So, I'm going to talk a little bit more in depth about the ginseng because this one is brewing. And I'm, I'm going to try to get a better picture for you so that you can see, because I want y'all to see the activity of this one around this around what's going on around the root it's this is an incredible picture so i want to make sure i get get that for you so i'm gonna get a quality picture for you also i'm gonna put up a, a picture of the lymphatic system for you so that you can see what it looks like right i'm gonna try to put it maybe right here and hold it up right here for a second you know what i'm saying uh where am i at i'm at about 19 minutes so I'm going to try to put a picture of the lymphatic system right here and then kind of blank myself out right now so that you can have a picture of the lymphatic system over the whole screen for a minute so that you can see what we're talking about. So I got this one from uh, a site called Live Science. Um, um, Kim and Zimmerman. Um, the lymphatic system is a network of tissues and organs that help rid the body of toxins, waste, and other unwanted materials. The primary function of the lymphatic system is to transport lymph, a fluid containing infection fighting white blood cells throughout the body. The lymphatic system primarily consists of lymphatic vessels, which are similar to the circulatory system, veins, and capillaries. The vessels are connected to lymph nodes where the lymph is filtered. The tonsils, adenoids, spleen, thymus are all part of the lymphatic system. Right? Now when I was young, they used to take the tonsils out like it was nothing. You know what I'm saying? Des descriptions of the lymphatic system. There are hundreds of lymph nodes in the human body. They are located deep inside the body such as around the lungs and heart or closer to the surface such as the as underarms groin woo, according to the american cancer society the spleen which is located on the left side of the body just above the kidney is the largest lymphatic organ i mean i've been hearing the word spleen for a long time i didn't know what it, what it did According to the U.S. National Library of Medicine, it controls the amount of red blood cells and blood storage in the body and helps to fight infections. They be taking people's spleen out like it ain't shit. If the spleen detects potentially dangerous bacteria, viruses, or other microorganisms in the blood, it, along with the lymph nodes, create white blood cells called lymphocytes which act as defenders against invaders. The lymphocytes produce antibodies to kill the foreign microorganisms and stop infections from spreading. Humans can live without a spleen, although people who have lost their spleen to, to disease or injury are more prone to infections. <sighs> Family. All right, so they put a little picture up. I got a little picture. Right, so I'm gonna go through this picture lymphatic system, tonsils, adenoids, spleen, and thymus are all part of the lymphatic system. Tonsils, the large cluster of lymphatic cells found in the pharynx, lymph nodes produce and store cells that fight infections, which is right about here. Right, produce and store cells that fight infection and disease. These are 600 to 700 lymph nodes in the human. There are at least 600 to 700 lymph nodes in the human body. The thymus, right above the heart. Thymus is an organ where T cells mature. T cells help destroy infected or cancerous cells. The spleen, maybe right around here, right? 
the spleen. The largest lymphatic organ in the body contains white blood cells that fight infection or disease. Good grief. I'm sorry, family. I, I'm excited about this. I didn't know. It. I'm going to have to do some more research on this lymph node thing. All right. So, let's continue. Let's go to Dr. Ashe's site. I'm going to finish reading this one for myself. Not that I'm being selfish, but I want to be able to come at y'all with a little bit, uh, uh, some more personal research and some more personal events because, you know, I've been having a lot of stuff with, you know, the ear, nose, and throat are all connected, but now I'm finding out that the lymph nodes maybe uh, might, might be part of the whole system as far as the breathing piece. So let's, let's, let's look at this because the, the, the lymphatic system depends on you for the circulation. It don't circulate like the blood. It don't have a, a heart, like a pump. So it requires us to do movement. Like like up under arms, we gotta be washing. And ladies, I, I, I especially wanna show the, 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 the lymphatic system because within the breast area, right? The lymph nodes, there's lymph nodes within the within, within the breast area. And I, and I, Cause this is another reason, I, reason I, wanna, I wanna um talk about this. If we are sedentary, if we are sitting on our ass all the time, right, and not making this flow, like those that's on the Gustavo Challenge, I give you the GME salutation. The whole you're doing, hopefully you're doing that or doing some form of movement that gets the body moving. The breathing exercises, the expanding of the chest and the, the contracting of the chest, the moving of the belly, right, the the, the focusing on the different chakras and the moving and the the, 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 the the moving of the muscles and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Helps helps that whole lymphatic flow. But if we sit and still, all that shit just sits right there and it doesn't move and it becomes dangerous, right? We all know what happens to water when it sits still, right? So what happens when you got a thicker liquid sitting still in your body? Get off your ass. Do the Giammi salutation. Sign up for the Giammi, um, the um, the um, and go to Cyber Challenge. Twenty one days, right? Will change your life. Now, and I ain't the only one with a challenge out there. We all know this. There's challenges everywhere. If you don't do mine, do some. I just need you to be healthy. I want you to be watching this, and I want you to be putting something into effect. It don't have to be my shit. It could be somebody, my piece is, I need you to be healthy. Listen, I care about every last one of you that's spending time watching my video, right? I want us to be prepared. All right, how to protect the all important. Now, this is, I, I, I'm not straight. This is what Dr. Ack, I, I said Dr. Ashe, but Dr. Ack say, look, the all important lymphatic system, right? We're not learning about this shit in school, right? We got our kids sitting. I mean, think about this. We got our kids sitting sedentary learning right they got gym and they're cutting that shit down they got recess and they're cutting that shit down right but the kids are not learning useful information like you know what if they learned about their lymphatic system and and then learning about the lymphatic system they start learning the importance of movement you know what i'm saying not just exercise listen this should have saved your life let me tell you why because your lymphatic system requires on your movement, requires on you sweating, requires on you doing some strenuous activity. Your human body was designed to move and to work, not to sit down and push keys, even though that, that could be fun too, because I like writing. I'm starting to, thanks to y'all, I'm falling in love with writing. But hold on, I'm at 27 minutes. I'm Y'all know how I get. How to protect the all important lymphatic system. What is the lymphatic system? It's a critical part of the immune system, vital for protecting us from illness and damaging disease causing inflammations. Essentially, the lymphatic system is the body's inner drainage system, a network of blood vessels and lymph nodes that clear, carry fluid from tissues around the body into the blood and vice versa. The lymphatic system has the primary role of protecting the body against outside threats such as infections, bacteria, 
and cancer cells while helping keeping fluid levels balanced. The best way to protect the complex series of crisscrossing lymphatic vessels and nodes that span almost the entire body, every one except for the central nervous system, is to eat a healing diet, exercise, and take steps to detoxify the body naturally. Lymphatic vessels carry fluid that is managed through the valves, which stop fluid from traveling the wrong way. Similar to how blood flow works within the arteries and the veins, in fact, the lymphatic system is very similar to the circulatory system made up of branches of veins, arteries, and capillaries. Both bring essential fluids around the whole body and are vital for keeping us alive. In comparison to the veins, lymph vessels are much smaller, and instead of bringing blood throughout the body, the lymphatic system carries a liquid called lymph, which stores our white blood cells. Lymph is clear, watery fluid, and also carries protein molecules, salt, glucose, and other substances along with bacteria throughout the body. See, carries that bacteria. What type of bacteria is it carrying for you? Because I'm drinking this ambrosia, I get to pick that bacteria that's going through my body, right? I get to know it personally before I ingest that. Well, most of it because you know bacteria and everything. But at least some of them I know personally. I know, you know. In addition to the lymph vessels and nose, the lymphatic system, also sometimes called the lymph system, includes several other organs, the tonsils, the adenoids, the tonsils, let's get back to that, the tonsils, glands located at the back of your throat that filter bacteria before digestion takes place. Did you hear that? Did you know that? The adenoids, a gland located at the back of your nose that protects the entrance to the digestive system and the lungs. Right? So, the, 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 the nitric oxide they say helps purify the air so I wonder if the I wonder if the part that uh, creates the nitri nitric oxide is connected to the adenoids somebody out there know, my, know the answer to my question hit me up let me know the spleen and the thymus filter organs that scan the blood and produce white blood cells so I mean it's like your body is incredible I mean it scans itself how the lymphatic system work? All right, we kind of covered that one. Well, no, well, I'm, I'm, I'm. We're gonna, we're gonna do a part two on the lymphatic system, cause I'm gonna get off of here. But family, I want to thank you for tuning in. I'm about to take my, my daily regimen. I want to pick up brother Kitty for coming to Columbus. I want to encourage everybody to either purchase his book. Or to support him through his LIB uh, radio is on. on um, you can find it on internet. Just type in LIB or type in Brother Katie or Chef Katie, um, Katie or uh, the Conscious Roster Report. All right, I really because I I want people. We're gonna start bringing more people like this to Columbus because we really got to start supporting it. Um, so we're going to do a part two on this lymphatic system. We're going to get into how the lymphatic system works and how we could further assist it by what we eat, right? And I'm going to even say how we eat, right? So this is Brother Hot Tim saying, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. And remember, take the Nguza Saba Challenge. Make sure that you subscribe. And I'm about to go back and post up the lymphatic I'm, I'm just I'm post up the picture so that you can look at it a little bit. All right, this is brother Hot Tim. I'm out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you, right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.